Alrighty, folks. Got a special one coming out today. No poll needed for this one. This is simply a must complete for me. One of the best center backs of all time. Capitano himself, Ballon d'Or winner, Fabiano Cannavaro. This guy, he's got a future stars card for, for jumping right out of the gate at 18 at Napoli, just going hard. Um, really proved that you can be an elite center back on the world stage without even having the size. Um, God, the, the run he made with Italy, just incredible in 06. He had something crazy like no fouls or like one foul over the entire run. I mean, man was near flawless. Uh, they finally given him a card he somewhat represents his ability. He could obviously deserves a better one, but it is what it is. Is one of the better kind of our cards we've ever seen. Looking at his stats real quick, 5'9", medium, high, 3'3". Three, three. Decent overall. Probably not asking for too much more there. Has the right back position on card in case you want to play him there, but you probably don't. Gave him a little bit better pace. The pace split isn't great still. He is short, so the 80 sprint speed with the short legs is going to hold him back some. We'll see how his positioning is to compensate for that. Doesn't have the shooting, doesn't have the passing. Dribbling's kind of in a weird spot. 62 base dribbling, but 94 reactions and stuff. I mean, should be good from the center back position for what we need him to do. Has the agility to. Defending, <laughs> near flawless. I mean, it's Cannavaro. What do you mean? They could give him 99s in all of these and it would still be representative of Cannavaro. They even gave him heading accuracy, which is cool. Goes with his jumping stats. I mean, he's got the physical, he's got the jumping, he's got aerial. Um, doesn't have the stamina, per se, to play out wide, maybe. But has the strength and aggression. Uh, easily could use an anchor to get all this stuff near max. Played plenty of games all over the Serie A. What a great career. Even went to Madrid. Um, 13 years with Italy. They hooked him up on the play styles. I'd have to look at his base card to see if he has all these, but uh, I don't think he does. Slide tackle, anticipate, intercept, block. Really could have done with Jockey too, but the weird point is Acrobat Plus. I mean, we'll see if this gives him some sort of unique clearance animations, but I think, I don't know, we'll try him from some corners and stuff maybe and see if we can get him to score a goal, but interesting playstyle plus choice here to go with Ariel. Uh, he's going to have a really interesting aerial presence. We'll see how that looks. Um, this card, we actually have not completed the full SBC yet, but like I said, this is a must complete. So we're just sitting here with his loan. Um, I'll do a price check as well of how much this SBC actually costs total in theory. But we've got his loan shoved in here in a, a little three center back Italian team. Um, we're going to see, we might play him at middle center back some too if the sprint speed is an issue, but I don't think it will be. We've got a basic on him since he's the loan. Give him that little sprint speed bonus and that, that strength bonus, but we may end up trying him with a with the anchor or shadow before we get the big card. Anchor will probably be nice for that strength and aggression boost. Max out his jumping and whatnot, but uh, that sprint speed is still kind of worrying. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to hop into some rivals, get some clips, uh, maybe help y'all decide if this is an SBC you want to complete. But let's be honest, I mean, one of the best center backs of all time. We have to give him a try. Um, Playing him next on Nesta. Let's see how many games I have on this. I got 115 games on this <laughs> base Nesta card. Um, but we'll see how it compares. I've pretty much shied away from all short center backs this game. But maybe he can surprise us. So let's run into rivals, get some clips of him. Canafaro is defending against first. Oh, <laughs> Janola, Evo Slabitzai, and Shevchenko. Should be an interesting front three to defend against. Oh, Cannavaro, no! Oh, we make up for it, but Cannavaro's a little in a weird spot there. All right, second man press Cannavaro. It never actually jabs for the ball, unfortunately. Okay, here he is on it. He does feel good on the ball. That height helps. All right, Cannavaro, that's your man. Oh, he can't really catch Shevchenko there. Ooh, clinical tackle. I'm going to see if we can get him a goal here. Oh, that's not a bad one. Yeah, 
not doesn't have the stats, but he can score from the spot. Good job on his player model too. He looks good. You can try Ederson, but uh, that's Bellotti, bud. He's putting that one in for absolutely no reason. Virgil's trying to foul him at the same time. Doesn't care. Like weirdly out of position there again. Like I don't know if we can get a look at this. I mean, look where he's at. He jump. He, he purposely scoots away from even going for the goal block. So I don't really know about this card. Oh, Cannavaro with the rundown. Oh, doesn't have the pace to make the rundown happen. Don't really get to see his positioning there before the rundown, but game here. Did concede six goals, and if we're being honest, probably half of those were uh, would have been stopped if I had like Maldini instead of Cannavaro in the spot. So, see how he does in the second one. See who Cannavaro's got to defend against this time. Ginola again. I see three hero front, which is pretty interesting. See how he does. Oh, I think Canavar won that header. Nice. Canavar in the middle here, and he's able to snake around and get that like that. Oh, made a mistake here. Can Canavar cover for us? Yes, he can. Good stop. Interception's on point already. Canavaro well positioned and shields off Janola there. Oh, Canavaro just crumples there, unfortunately, under Janola. Well, uh, Canavaro's had a rough first couple games here. We, uh, he was doing some weird AI stuff. I'm not really sure what was going on with him. He was kind of standing off and letting other players go for the tackle, and he had weird positioning, but it may just be something with the no special instructions three back that we were running. So put him over here, switched him into a team with big boy Virgil and uh, De Lorenzo beside him, so they got a little more height coverage. We're going to see if he can do it in a four back. I don't really know what was going on in those first two games, so... Let's go take him to some more rivals. Boom, we connected to this guy quick. We're about like an hour before content right now, maybe less. Let's see who's going to be getting past Canavaro this time. Another Shevchenko. A lot of people did the Shevchenko card. It's crazy. You see it everywhere now. Okay, there we go, Canavaro. Oh, gets challenged quickly though. I should have got that ball out faster. Canavaro just kind of sliding away from the ball there. I don't know what he was doing with that positioning. Oh, come on, Canavaro. Okay, I think I asked a bit much of him there, but at least he went for a jab. Probably slowed the man down enough. Ooh. Clinical cutout from Canavaro there. It's like snake in the grass. Well, we were able to seal the win, but Canavaro, again, not that present in this game. We'll see if I can look at his player ratings or something here. We had three tackles for two possession to one. I mean, Van Dyke had, I guess Van Dyke also only had three tackles for three possessions to one. So I guess he was doing okay for the most part. Uh, who Cannavaro is defending against here. And a uh, pretty decent team. Kane and Raul. Oh, God. This is going to be potentially rough. They're going to be able to body him. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Cannavaro not able to adjust quick enough and reach over to stop that. Doesn't look good for him. Oh, Cannavaro gets the initial block there, but it just bounces right into front of one of another attacker, so that's not ideal either. There's Bilotti, doing what he does best, right?
Ooh. Two piece. Two piece. Duplicate. <laughs> Duplicate gold. Alright, can we see something Cannavaro here? Oh. Whoa. Whoa, that recovery speed. Good rain, good rain. Sorry, bud. That's the Bilotti three piece. Canavaro did not jump in front of it on his own. I probably could have switched to him and tried to get him to, but really just wanted to see if he would do it. Canavaro saves it. Wow. Who did he stand up to there? <laughs> Somebody big that fell over. Ooh. Wow. Incredible tackle there, too. Right, come on. Ooh. Okay, he fouled me. He fouled me. Kenavar still made it work, but he did get fouled. Ooh. No. Oh, get to that. Oh, and he stumbles. Oh my gosh. Get on that ball. I mean, first off, Bilotti. With four goals on four shots, 100% accuracy. Gosh. Clinical striker. But Cannavaro, two tackles. 100% tackle success rate. Six possessions, one through interceptions. He was doing better than Van Dyke for the whole game. So, pretty crazy, actually, winning me over here doing better for me he's pretty much won me over as at least usable card but for this last game on this loan we threw a finisher on him and we're gonna put him up top at striker and pull out Balotelli and, and bring in another center back here so let's see how he does at striker now we get to see here who Cannavaro is shooting against this game Larice, so many people using this Larice card it's crazy let's get some evos done word word Clearance Sadorf. If that doesn't win you over on Sadorf, I don't know what will. <laughs> well, he's out of here just like that, folks. Go up 1 0. They're gone. So much for my last match of Cannavaro. Alrighty, folks. We unfortunately did not get to try Fabio Cannavaro at striker, but we did play four games with him at center back. Two in a three center back and two in a four center in a in a four back, uh, and we won the two games in the four back. So, you know, I got to give him that at least. He did on paper perform as good or better than Van Dyke in both those games. So that was good. But he was kind of more of like a snake in the grass type center back versus the the tower that is Virgil. So something to think about. Um, put in pretty decent performances all around. Took a little while to get him figured out. Uh, he does weird AI stuff. You know, this is a very different center back than your average card, for sure. Going through it again real quick, 5'9". That's the weird part about this card. Medium high is cool, 3-star, three 3-star. Three star. All good. Uh, it doesn't say here, but average body type. That kind of makes him a little weird, but you're not on the ball with him a bunch, so it doesn't really matter too much. Like I said, he can play right back. You probably don't want him there. Uh, but I didn't try him there, so who knows? Maybe you could... Uh, put a catalyst on him or an engine or something and he could do better out there but he doesn't really have the stamina for it um, strong points and weak points of the stats um, the dribbly the agility did feel good obviously we have a we had a basic on him so some of the dribbling stats were boosted but the dribbling did feel good um, off the ball the defending is pretty much flawless if you can get him in position but if he gets sealed out he's not getting around him because he's a kind of a little guy. If he does, it's going to be like a Conte type snake in the grass tackle, but he could potentially pull those off. There's some clips that he, he did make good ones of those, but the intercepts are really key. Um, I believe he does have the intercept trait, not intercept plus, but the intercepts were really key. 
Um, he's probably making more of those than he should for how long his legs are, but that's all cool. You are going to want to boost the pace on this card, though. 80 sprint speed on someone that's uh, not lengthy is uh, it's rough. You're not going to catch up to people a lot of the times. Um, I thought the three pack, the three center back would be like a solution to that, but it really wasn't. It really, um, he didn't shine in that type of formation at all. So interesting AI to get used to. The reactions, composure, all that was good. The last second tackles were good. Um, and he wasn't getting tired, so the stamina was cool. Uh, second man fresh could use better aggression. I mean, I think I'll probably run mine with anchor first when I get mine, but we'll see how that goes. Um, overall, good. I couldn't get him on a corner. I wanted to play him at striker that last game just to force a bunch of these, but um, couldn't really test out the acrobatic. Ariel was good. He didn't seem like he was weak in the air or lost to the taller guy, so it's all cool. Um, and these are fine. Even without Jockey, he did fine here. You would have really liked to see Bruiser, maybe, just to make up for his, his average frame. But... Overall, good card. Like I said, for me, it's a must complete. Um, you probably have better center backs than him at this stage in the game, or at least more meta ones for sure. So I wouldn't worry about him for those purposes. But if you're doing the Italian team, if you're collecting Ballon d'Or winners, I mean, come on. Uh, this guy is truly an icon. Um, one of the best to ever do it. So hope you guys enjoy getting some, seeing some clips of him at least and uh, trying to figure out if you might want to use him. Thanks for watching.